Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I thought of taking a little break from our AWS Network Specialty course. I mean, it was getting really boring working on the same thing. So I thought I'll take a little break and formally start our new series, which is Linux internal video series. And this is the first video. So in this video, we are going to talk about few basic Linux questions which you encounter when you go for an interview for an SRE or a DevOps or a Linux system administrator. And these concepts, these things you must know as a Linux administrator or as an SRE if you want to have a bright future, a bright career in this domain, in the operations domain, right? So if you don't know, I mean, I'm going, I must tell you that I have been working with Linux for almost like nine plus years now, and I have worked in multiple companies. I mean, if you see my resume, there are a bunch of companies in nine years. So I have given a lot of interviews and recently for last few years, I have been taking a lot of interviews and I have come across some really great interview questions uh, in Linux. So I thought why not share it with you guys uh, so that you also prepare for your interview and and this is not an exhaustive list uh, this is just I mean I'm starting a series so I thought I'd do uh, like a, uh, ice bucket type of a video where we just break the ice and start our core uh, course later so just thought of doing this uh, uh, ice breaking kind of a video right so all right, so the first question which I normally start my interview with is number one. So let's just start numbering it so we see how many questions we have. So number one is signals. So I basically ask well, what are signals in Linux? And if, if you work with Linux for quite a duration, you would know what are signals in Linux. And then I follow it up with another question what does kill command do and if you thought that kill command is used for killing a process then you are wrong and i would suggest you to just go back on the internet and find what kill command does okay number three so i go back to really basics sometimes like i ask what does execute permission on a directory means so this is i mean for you it might sound like it's it's actually very basic but trust me people do get confused like if you said if you tell them that what what happens if I just give a execute permission to the directory and no other permission? What would what would your role be? So this is actually a very good question, and I, I came across it a few years ago, so I I had it in mind since then. And then uh, in, on the similar lines, I ask another question, which is difference between SUID, SGID and sticky bits so this is a very popular trust me this is a very popular interview question difference between SGID, sgid and sticky bits and on the same line there's another question if i mean sometimes people either ask you directly what is suid sgid or sticky bit or uh, i've asked i've seen people ask that how does pass wd works since etc pass wd file has 400 permission right so it's like read for root only and and all other users don't have permission then how do you update your password so this is basically a very good question and I have asked it a few times and I have been asked this a few times. So this is actually a good question. Uh, another popular question is, it's not basically Linux, it's uh, related to networking is, how trace route works. 
So basically trace route is a command that is basically used to trace the complete uh, path uh, to your destination. So if you do a trace route have an end to say Google or 8.8.8.8, so you will get the complete path of how your request has flown across the internet. So that is what trace route does. So the question is how does it work behind the scene? How do you how do you get the IPs of all the destiny all the routers in the path? So that's that's actually a good question number seven which I ask I mean I actually like this is what are I notes so these this is a very nice question what are I notes and people do I mean sometimes have no idea what are I notes are so that's another question you should be ready and you should be prepared uh, another question which I've asked started asking recently is difference between sorry for i'm using short forms because it's it's gonna take a lot of time type in writing and all that the difference between system d and in it d systems and this is this actually confused because system d was introduced few years back uh, before that everything was an init d now people who have who have been working with init D systems tend to get confused when you ask them the difference between system D and init D. And sometimes I even start my interview question with like the father of all interview questions Linux boot process. I just ask them to explain me the Linux boot process, and trust me, it gives you a very fair idea. Uh, about the candidate and how the interview would fare from there so it's 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 a very uh, great question to ask at the beginning of your interview if you're taking an interview you just uh, ask this question up front uh, i also talk about uh, the next monitoring so i mean how would you monitor linux system over a period of time so I mean I'm looking for tools basically something like VM stat IO stat and uh, the SAR so if people are telling me all these tools how they use that I think that's that's good enough okay lastly I'm giving you a few concepts that you should be familiar with uh, something like say u limit the two is u mask number three is uh, hard link and soft link uh, another thing is number four run levels and lastly it's a thing called x i net sorry let's get another x i net t so this is actually a very very complicated thing so i mean you won't be seeing interviewers ask this because most of the time they don't know themselves so that is but it's good if you know x i net d and i net d basically difference between i net d so what i ask is difference between i net d and x i net d so yes uh, i think this is it for like initial screening and this is it for this video guys i mean i think we covered a lot almost like 15 questions uh, to start off and these are 15 basic and very good questions and you would see that they are asked a lot and this is basically coming from experience because i have asked these questions a lot and i get asked these questions when I go for an interview because I mean even if you're going for an SRE or a DevOps engineer where you have to work with automation tools, Chef, Puppet, Ansible and Docker, you won't see people asking questions uh, related to Chef or Puppet or Ansible. You would see that they would start with basic networking, basic Linux and that should be your priority. You should be familiar with Linux and you can I mean you can learn any of the technology share puppet ansible you can learn but Linux basically comes from experience so 
i hope you like this video guys uh, i think this would be helpful all the question would be there in description so just you can you can just go and copy it and please subscribe to my channel this is a very exciting uh, video series which we are starting linux internals on wednesday we are doing a podcast with a friend of mine we need and hopefully we'll see you there i hope you like that too and we'll be talking about linux boot process in detail uh, on that podcast so great let's end this video and see you in my next video and just subscribe to my channel before you go thank you for watching